everyone. This is Esther Sir, your host of the Word Disciple Training um, uh, Bible Study, and welcome back. Uh, this is the fourth one, so let's get started. Attitude towards God's Word. First, the Th Thessalonians two thirteen says, "Therefore, we never stop thanking God that when you received um, His message from us, you didn't think of our words as mere human ideas. You accepted." what we said as the very word of God, which of course it is. And this wor word continues to work in you uh, who believe. Did you know that by reading the Bible, um, it's going to work and inspire you to believe in, um, in Jesus Christ, who the Bible's author is all about. Um, but if you're not in the word, then you're not going to know about God. It kind of works. It's a catch-22. Shall adore. 1 Peter 2.2 2, Like newborn babies, you must crave pure spiritual milk so that you will grow into a full experience of salvation. Cry out for this nourishment. You know, all the people, mo everyone that's going to be um, uh, 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 led to my channel, listening to my voice, listening to this video, um, is really led by the Holy Spirit. And you are led here for whatever reason or another. Um, you may have asked it to access the link through somebody, but whatever the case may be, you have been led to listen to the word. Um, I have... Uh, I have been the type of learner, learner that I learn from uh, listening more than I do reading. So um, you can access this material free um, anywhere, everywhere, um, you know, while driving, while cooking, doing your um, everyday life. And the more you listen, um, the Holy Spirit is going to lead you to the truth. Psalms... Um, 11920 I am always overwhelmed with a desire for your regulation um, so that is our spirit crying out for more truth for for the actual truth and um, the more you delve into the Bible um, the Holy Spirit is going to teach you Psalms 119 131 I plant with um, I pant with expectation, longing for your commands. Expected. Psalm 107.9 For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Hebrews 11.6 And it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. Pray. For the work of the Holy Spirit, John 14, 26. Um, but when the Father sends the advocate as my representative, that is the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I have told you. Psalm 119, 33 through uh, 40 says, Teach me your decrees, O Lord. I will keep them to the end. Give me understanding and I will obey your instructions. I will, um, I will put them into practice with all my heart. <clears throat> Make me walk along the path of your commands, for that is where my happiness is found. Give me, <clears throat> give me an eagerness um, for your laws rather than a love for money. Turn my eyes from worth, worthless things and give me through uh, your word. Reassure, reassure me of your promise made of those who fear you. Help me abandon my shameful ways for your regulations are good. I long to obey your commandments. Renew my life with your goodness. Believe. Hebrews 4, 2, for this good, um, good news that God has prepared this rest and has been um, announced to us just as it was um, to them. But it, um, but it did them no good because they didn't uh, share the faith of those who listened to God. Listen, you sharing 
um, uh, may be able to, you know, uh, uh, give um, the testimony or, or share um, to the people in your community, they may never have been able to access um, from other people. This is why we, we all need to carry our cross and share. Um, you have uh, been assigned um, from God to reach out to your people. Um, and those people may never know Christ or know about the good news or the gospel if you don't share. This is why we all need to share. Romans 4, 17 through 22 says, that is what the scripture means when God told him, I made, um, I have made you the father of many nations. This happened because Abraham believed in the God who brings the dead back to life and who creates new things out of nothing. Even when there was no reason for hope, Abraham kept um, hoping, believing that he would become the father of many nations. For God had said to, uh, said to him, that's how many descendants you will have. And Abraham's faith did not weaken, even though at about 100 years of age, he figured his body was um, as good as dead. And so was uh, Sarah's womb. Abraham never wavered in believing God's promise. In fact, his faith uh, grew stronger. And in this, he brought glory to God. He was fully convinced that God is able to do whatever he promises. And because um, of Abraham's faith, God counted him as righteous. What covenant did uh, God make to um, Abraham? In verse 17, um, he says that um, he, will make, um, he will make him the father of many nations, right? And um, in verse 19, what is Abraham's situation at the time? At that time, he was, a hun he was aged 100, um, well beyond um, a fathering age, right? And Abraham's faith in God's promises, he believed that God is able, God will um, uh, uh, do what he had uh, promised. And what God uh, did Abraham uh, believe in, um, he believed that he is going to make him the father of many. How did God see um, this belief? Um, he called him, um, uh, he called him, uh, 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 what did he, he called him righteous, right? In Isaiah 55, 10 through 11, the rain and snow come down from the heavens and stay on the ground uh, to water the earth. They cause the grain to grow, producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry. It is the same with my word. I send it out and it um, always produces fruit. Um, it will accomplish, an all, um, accomplish all I want it to do. And um, it will prosper wherever I send it. Um, this is why you need to be a sender of the word. You need to share the word. The more um, you share, um, I have actually, um, you know, listened. Um, and more than when I listen, when I share, that is when I get blessed and when I get more fruits. So this is why it is so atomic when you actually send out um, and uh, proclaim the word in your life, in your mouth, um, through, um, you know, sending out the message or whatever it is. Even when you are just sending this link, you are actually um, in, engaged in the act of sharing. So that's going to bless your life and, um, and cause a breakthrough in your life as well. Have a heart um, to obey. Psalm 119, 33 to 34 Teach me your decrees, O Lord. I will keep them to the end. Give me understanding and I will obey your instructions. I will put them into practice with all my heart. Acts 17.10 That very night that believers sent Saul and uh, Paul and Silas to Berea, uh, when they arrived there, they went to the Jewish synagogue. Um, learning through the parable of the sower, Luke 9, 5 through 8, 
And if a towel refuses to welcome you, shake its dust from your feet as you um, leave to show that you have abandoned those people to their fate. Now, this is actually one of the scariest um, verses um, because um, if people, if you've been assigned and more and more and um, people um, are refusing you, they're not actually refusing you. They're refusing Christ. They're refusing God. And um, it says to shake its dust from your feet as you um, leave to show that you have abandoned those people to their fate. Their fate is um, eternal damnation. We don't want that. We're living in a default. Our default is that we've all um, inherited this uh, disease called sin. And if we don't accept Christ, we're going to be in that default. You didn't um, die and go to hell because you were a sinner um, or you sinned. You died and gone to hell because you've um, inherited that disease called uh, sin. And it needs to be um, uh, changed over. Your life has to be changed over. Your, um, your uh, 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 master has to change. And if you accept that, please go on. So they began their circuit of the villages, preaching the good news and healing the sick. When Herod um, Antipas, uh, the rule of Galilee, heard about everything Jesus was doing, he was puzzled. Some were saying that John the Baptist had been raised from the dead. Others thought Jesus was Elijah or one of the other prophets risen from the dead. Luke 8, um, 11 through 15 says, this is the meaning of the parable. The seed is God's word. The seed that fell on the footpath represent those who hear the message only to have the devil come and take it away from their hearts and prevent them from believing and being saved. The seeds on the rocky soil represent those um, who hear the message and receive it with joy. But since they um, don't have deep roots, roots, they believe for a while, then they fall away when they face temptation. These seeds that fell among um, the thorns represent those who hear the message, but all um, too quickly the message is crowded by the cares and riches and pleasures of this life. And so they never grow into maturity. And the seed um, seeds that fell on the good soil represent honest, good-hearted people who hear God's word, cling to it, and patiently produce a huge harvest. Is that one of you? Which one are you? Verse 12, 13, 14, or the 15th one? I pray that you will all become the verse 15 represent, uh, 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 people. So that concludes um, the fourth unit and see you on the fifth one.